Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to freeze the screen on your iPad Pro. So here is the deal, right? Let's say uh, you want to open up an app and you don't want the user to you know, close out the app or interact with the app at all. I want to show you how to exactly do that and also lock the app with a passcode. Alright, so in order to do this, I want you to load up the settings app. I want you to load it up settings, you want to see if accessibility is available. It should be a little bit under general here. If it is not available, then tap into general then the accessibility button will be there so we'll tap on accessibility here we'll scroll down until we see guided access we'll tap into this one and you see this toggle turns on once guided access is turned on go into passcode settings and set a guided access passcode so you can set this to whatever you would like just make sure you remember the passcode uh, because you can make it different from the lock screen passcode so you will need to remember two passcodes right let's go back here and then what we'll do is we see accessibility shortcut, we'll turn this one on. And so what this will do is it means that we can activate guided access when we load up an app. So the next step is you want to load up the app you would like to have uh, guided access on for. So let's say photos app. And let's say uh, this photo here, uh, let's say this is a protractor, right? So how do I freeze the screen? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So you need to activate the guided access once you are in the app you would like to use it on. In order to do this, if you have a home button on your, on your iPad Pro, triple click the home button, right? If you do not have a home button, triple click the power button or the top button. Uh, you know, they are the same thing. So just keep in mind, you need to triple click uh, click quickly. So click, click, click like that. That's the speed you want to click the uh, home button or the power button. So we'll do it together. Three, two, one. Click, click, click. And you can see guided access is now started. So here is the deal. If you've already set the settings, it will uh, automatically load up the last settings you have used. In my case, I cannot interact with the touchscreen at all. I cannot, you know, slide down from the side. I can't do anything, right? No so matter how many fingers I have, it will not do anything. However, for you, you may not have set this up. So how do we set it up? So triple click the power button or the home button three times again. So three, two, one, click, click, click. You will see the passcode screen. Enter in that passcode you remembered. And you're going to tap into options. And if you would like to freeze the screen, you see touch, it'll be on. Just turn this one off. And I recommend that you even turn off keyboards as well. So people can't interact with the keyboard. And then tap on the empty space. Resume. And now no, no, the screen's frozen. Yeah, so you can't do anything on the screen. It is completely frozen. Now, for whatever reason, you would like to freeze certain parts of the screen. Let's triple click the uh, uh, power or home button again. We'll enter in a passcode. Go into options this time we'll turn on touch but you see a circle areas of the screen you would like to delete so you can just draw on the on the um are using your touch so go like this and now once the drawing is done this area of the screen cannot be touched right you can drag and drop you can even enlarge and if you ever want to delete this you can delete it Let's say this Xbox logo, I want to touch it. And once we've done that, we can tap on resume. So you will see a little overlay. And you can see this area here does not respond to touch. This area here responds to touch. This area, this area does not. So let's triple click one more time. Enter in the passcode. And uh, we'll just remove these here. And then we'll tap on end once we are done with the guided access. All right, if you ever and you don't want to stop using guided access for good, go back to the guided access area settings and just turn this one off. This means if you ever triple click the power button, you can see it's not going to uh, do anything. A little tip is if you do have guided access on and you don't use it anymore, it will take longer for your iPad to lock. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you have a home button iPad Pro, it will take longer to access multitasking. So that's just something to consider because it's uh, waiting to see are you, are you triple clicking the power button or the home button. Alright, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.